Hi guys, uh, so let's move to the first method. Just search Regedit in the Windows 10 search box. Now click on Registry Editor to open Registry Editor. Now once the Registry Editor opens up, you have to expand HKey Current User. And now look if there is an Environment folder, okay? If there is not any Environment folder, what you have to do is to just right click on it, choose New and Key and create a environment folder okay now once this environment folder has been created create three expandable string values okay so the first is tmp and right click on it choose modify and set the value data as user profile app data local temp okay I pasted these values in the description of the video menu below. You can directly copy it from there. Now again create a new expandable string value and this time this the name will be TMP. Again modify the value data the same. Okay. The same value data. Now again the last one create an expandable string with name path okay and this time the value will be this i pasted this value also in the description of the video comment below you can directly copy it from there and now close the registrator and restart and your problem will be fixed if this also does not fix your problem there is one more thing which you can do and that is just That is just run this command in the PowerShell. Okay, just open PowerShell and run this command in the PowerShell window. Just open PowerShell with admin rights. Just right click on it, click on run as administrator. And now, when the PowerShell, um, PowerShell window open up, you have to run this command and after that your problem will be fixed if this also does not fixes your problem there is one more thing which you can do and that is just run parcel x86 okay just search parcel x86 in the windows 10 search box with brackets okay and now run this 32 bit of the software or parcel and your problem will be fixed if all these methods does not work there is one last method which you can try and that is just google microsoft dot net repair tool okay now click on it make sure it is from microsoft.com click on download And now once it gets downloaded, click on it to run it and follow on-screen instructions to fix the problem. That's it guys. Please do like the video to support.